Welcome to Quabbin Harvest, a co-op in downtown Orange, Massachusetts. My name is Sarah and I'm the team leader here at the co-op. We've invited some of our customers and suppliers to tell you what makes Quabbin Harvest special and why you should take full advantage of this great local resource. Four women came together with an idea, good you know, food for their families, and here we are today. We come together as a community to make this place and keep it alive. It's unique that we have an opportunity here to provide local food to the community in a retail setting. It feels so good to know that I'm supporting local farmers, farmers that I know, who are helping me by uh, producing food that's healthy, that's organic, that's locally grown. I mean, I think the great thing about eating local food is that food that travels a short distance versus hundreds of thousands of miles just tastes better. And when you spend your money on local food, you're supporting the people in your community. Like you are, your neighbors are feeding you and you're supporting them with your resources. As soon as they were selling shares, I said, this is something we need to support. It's like civic engagement almost is how I feel about it, where I will come here first because I know that my friends and neighbors are selling their goods here. They have taken their values and their beliefs and their vision of what the world should look like and created something out of that. I think that what people don't understand necessarily about a co-op is there is an expensive way to shop at a co-op and there's also a less expensive way to shop at a co-op. One of the goals in our mission statement is actually to provide affordable, healthy food to people in our community. Our produce costs, our fruit costs, our basic item costs, and our basic program in general are designed to be comparable to any of the big box competitors here in town. I want to support the co-op and I'm on a budget, so what I do is I do the fruit and veggies to share every week. And then I supplement that with a few more items. And I also have purchased bulk brown and white rice and beans. And so I have large amounts of those so I can eat rice and beans as my staples, and then the veggies, and then I buy um, some of the local meats as well. So I really am spending way less money than I used to. This year we have a great new program that's starting. It's been funded by the USDA, actually, to give a dollar for dollar match to people who, have, who pay for the CSA share with their SNAP card. It's a misconception that co-ops are also elitist that it's only for members, and that's the exact opposite of everything that we have ever done. It's a resource for people, especially people who are new to the area, or new to healthy foods, new to cooking, who are young parents trying to feed their children healthy. It's a great resource to come in and ask people, how do I do this on a budget? What are the best things I can buy? What is the basics program that will lead me to the cheapest things I can purchase here? And how do I go about doing that? And then after you've done it a couple of times, you're pretty much acquainted with the store and it's easy enough. I think by small businesses and the community all working together, it just creates a better atmosphere for families, for kids growing up, it instills values in kids that they don't necessarily get from just running into a big box store and not knowing who they're even dealing with or what they're eating. Or I think it's, it's important. Knowing your customers, being able to have a conversation with your customers when they walk in the door and ask how their kids' basketball game was last week is a really important thing that I think that a lot of businesses are getting away from as they get bigger. And I love to see the seating that they have out now and chai tea and people sitting around shooting the breeze and that makes me happy to see that. My hopes for the future of this co-op is that it will grow and expand um, so that it's viable. When you come to Quabbin Harvest, you are supporting the community, you are helping our planet, and um, you're helping yourself. You know, I think during these times, especially when we have a choice to, to build our communities and really strengthen our communities, it's of vital importance. If I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is, you know, oh, I support this, I say I support that, but if I don't spend accordingly, or maybe I give a gift once a year to some organization, well, why not do it every time I go grocery shopping? Your money is your power. Spend it wisely, spend it locally and let big businesses know that, that they can't keep just taking off with your money and doing whatever they want with it. Time is now. There's an urgency that we need to step up to the plate and see how we can make this co-op work.
it's not all kale and like, you know, oat bran. So we have really tasty things. Quaven Harvest, your community market.